If somebody doesn't seem right about this temple, well, they're not wrong, because this is actually a sun avatar on a temple base, and that's what this video is about. We've got a mod tower to showcase called the temple base, and it's literally just, well, the bottom of a temple. You can place one tower on it, and you can give it buffs, or you could give it, like, uh, temple-like properties. Thanks to Doom Bubbles for creating this mod. It's got a full three pads of 15 upgrades, so uh, can't wait to check it out. The map we'll do is Minecraft Desert. I think I've played this modded map before, but uh, I didn't beat it with the challenge I did on it before. But let's tackle it down now. And let's start with the temple base. It's basically doesn't attack, obviously. It, at base, only does uh, increase the range of a tower. So as you can see, when you move the attack out, the range decreases. So not really something worth using as a 0 0 but of course we'll continue to give it buffs. So let's just check out what each path does. So top path, Increases Pierce by 2, which is insane for attack shooters. Basically, it triples the amount of bomb power. And then we have Solar Flares, which allows Chosen to target Camel Balloons. Very cool. And then Speed of Light increases attack speed. You really can't go wrong with any beast free for attack. If only I enabled the uh, ultimate cross padding, this attack might have been, uh, may go a little crazy. I think the first upgrade I'll buy for this one is fairly obvious. The triple damage one. And I guess I'll cross pad it with Speed of Light, because I guess I could just give it Camo, like, with the Camo sub. Easy as lad. And I guess we'll take a look at uh, tier 2. Sunburn increases damage by the Chosen by 1, which is basically double damage with the Tashers and only does, well, again, 1 damage, 1 pierce. Literally the best thing you could uh, give buffs to. Before that, though, buy Speed of Light and we'll buy a couple upgrades on the uh, attack as well. How about upgrade to tier 2? It's basically giving us the uh, Temple Support buffs, but at a uh, severely reduced cost, which is pretty nice. We also have another... Uh, uh, support thingy. Light on cash decreases the cost by 5%. I guess we'll get it ahead of time. I probably shouldn't have upgraded any of the upgrades beforehand, but I mean, we probably only lost like $10 from that, so no biggie. And from here, we can choose to possibly go for a tier 3 bottom. I guess I'll just show ya. 504k. This activates some of the uh, Sun Temple Sacrifice attacks for the uh, Chosen Tower set. I think this is not like, this just allows the uh, Temple to actually start attacking. By giving it some of its abilities, which I'll show later for now. Let's double the damage attack. Just kind of think of it as if we got the attack shooter upgrade to hot shots with that sunburn ability now. Uh, we don't have the upgrade that allows it to pop every type of balloon yet. I don't think that's smaller. It does further increase damage in all class. Yeah, I'm gonna need some light PP. I guess what better option is there than to go for an alchemist that we can also buff the attack with? Although I don't know if it actually will buff the temple base because, like, this counts as a, a tower, right? And the, the footprint is almost, like, identical. So it might, there's a chance it might throw it on the uh, temple. In fact, we can just give it a go. AMD buff. Oh, wait. No, land on the attack. But I'll keep a close eye on if it ever lands on the temple base. Or maybe uh, it was coded so that it ignores the temple base, which would be correct. And it looks like, yeah, it's not being thrown. So uh, nice job, Doom Bubbles, for that one. Not gonna lie, pretty nice to see a 202 attack shred this much, although I guess 36 has some uh, problems. We'll finally upgrade to 203, I think. That should hold to 39 or 40, and then we'll save our Solar Mauler on that round. Attack is already really good against both, though, but I guess why not make, make it extra good against them? So let's go ahead and buy it now. Round 40, and we'll see how quickly it gets taken down. All right, one shot, two shots. All right, Ben, uh, ben Trojan exists. So there's no insides. That yeah, was fairly decent, decently fast. I, I assume it's just a plus one damage buff. And now let's take a look at the uh, tier four ability. Uh, solar option, actually, uh, hold up. First things first. On a leak into 43 here. I'll buy a Berserker. I'll keep this a low tier as long as possible, just because funny seeing, again, a low tier kind of shred like that. Don't know if you guys agree with me on that, but like when I do my super buff videos, it's always kind of interesting to see the uh, lower tier shred more so than the uh, higher tiers because I guess you already expect them to like do uh, a lot of damage, but it's kind of wacky seeing again like a cheap tower defend so long. So, as I said, solar eruption the chosen's damaging projectiles cause explosions on first contact, so it's not like splody darts, but you know, splody anything. And that's great, because again, 16 projectiles means, uh, many explosions. And, uh, yeah, let me just go ahead and skip the, uh, overdrive upgrade. We're gonna see how long we can make it with some, uh, super buffed temple bases. And there it is, solar eruption just in time for 49. So, let's take a look. Oh, wow. That's not the explosion that I was, uh, thinking about. But that's definitely very interesting. I just 
The explosion is a light beam instead. It looks like it just not annihilated 49. And here it is against the Moab. Also a very fast KL. And this uh, tier 5 is very expensive. Doesn't really tell us very much. The power of the sun is in the palm of your hand. If I did guess, I guess it we get two Sun God explosions from each projectile, which sounds pretty cool, but again, it's expensive. So I think uh, we'll build another farm, a couple more farms, and then we'll build a second temple base, and I'll see what tower I want to build on that. Okay, so let's see. We're starting to leak to a couple balloons here, so let's go for it. We'll do a new base over here, and I haven't decided what tower I want to get yet. I want to say, though, how about a low-tier Super Monkey? I think that'll be interesting to see. Again, anything with low damage, fierce, and high attack speed, I think works for good pop. So this time we're gonna go middle path. I'm gonna cross path this one though, because again, more pierce and uh, double damage on the dart. Basically, it turns it into like, yeah, a very strong super monkey projectile. And so let's see. So camo. This lets it see over walls, which isn't very useful because actually there is walls on this map, right? Yeah. yeah. The little Minecraft trees, they exist, so let's buy that. Well, I bought it already, and funny enough, it still shows the red, but as you can see, the Super Monkey does shoot over, so that's cool. And let's look, take a look at Sunbeam, so Chosen can damage all balloon types. Not bad for $2,000, like a, a mid at home. And let's see if we can handle round 60 with attack of the Super Monkey, all right. Decent. Tier 4 Middle Path, we have an ability. As per usual, the Chosen becomes the After of Soul for 15 seconds, with a 60 second cooldown. Uh, not sure I can save up for that next round. Maybe I'll sell a farm if I have to. Or maybe there's a chance we can beat it with the Pierce of the attack. Nah, not even close, alright. How about if I siphon wave 1? I might be able to afford a mid-round. There's a bunch of rainbows gotta deal with, that's all. Uh, also not enough. Okay, enough's enough. Let's just, let's just do Overdrive and not waste any time here. And we'll buy after our soul as well. And if I don't use any bend abilities, it's also still not enough. I guess the explosions of the solar eruption have limited pierce. Fair enough. Uh, I'll do Scythe then. And now it should definitely be enough for the rainbows, yes. The thing is that, though, I don't even have the ability yet for wave 2. Okay, I do, I do. So let's go ahead and use it. And it looks like, yeah, it just turns into a, a straight up temple for. Uh, 15 seconds. I might have used it too early though, because I'm pretty sure I'm dead to third wave. Okay, quickly. Tier 4 Alp. Yeah, just timed out. Uh, just the worst possible time. Okay, it's enough though. That's good. Okay, if I had to guess though, I'm pretty sure it just turns it into a vanilla temple, which for 20k, I mean, that's not bad, I guess. Because you, you still saw that the uh, Super Monkey was attacking, so we still have the main attack of it, which is uh, nice and handy. And I'm not going to get it next, but let's just take a quick peek at Soul Incarnate. The middle path to your 5. Chosen becomes Soul Incarnate for 15 seconds for 45 seconds cooldown. My guess, True Sun God Temple. I think that sounds a little the most logical now. Let's explore the, the bottom path. I'm not going to drop a tower on it yet. Just to see what the upgrades are first. So, we've already seen attack speed and cost reduction. We have seen this, but I haven't actually used it. So, let's go ahead and buy it. And let's see what it does. Nothing. Well, that's probably because I haven't dropped a tower on it yet. So let me just go ahead and drop a dart. Okay, guys. And... Oh, okay. So we get Blade shooting out from the tower itself. So that's nice. So let's say with this uh, ability, we have Golden Blade shooting out in eight different directions. Uh, can't tell how much damage it does, but it looks like a one-shot ceramic. So that's nice. I wonder if it also benefits from, like, the Pierce and damage upgrades. Uh, uh, should I get that or not? Or should I do a camo? And the other things. I'll go with this, because we already have camo again. I'll buy a reactor on this one. This still be a pretty expensive path, though. As you see, the next upgrade tier 4 is 54k. Looks like we add a golden specter, do we? Activate the rest of the sun temple to sacrifice attacks. The rest of. So it might be actually more than the uh, military plane. I guess we'll find out. Like, I guess this might mean we get the super storm blowbacks of the temple. And maybe the grapes from the magic sacrifice. Let's just go ahead and buy it and see. I got it. I see the laves instead of blades now. Okay. How come it's not doing as much damage as it looks? Is that okay? The damage is coming from the temple base itself. That's the pop cap added. Oh, hang on. I think I know what's going on. So uh, the chosen tower set. So if it's primary, is that why we're getting glaives? Like, what if I go for a military tower? Oh, I sold the sold the wrong thing. Okay, reset though. If I go for this, will I get military planes? 
I do. Okay, this is a pretty sick tower, not gonna lie. Top, uh, top percent of mod mods right here, folks. Like, and the thing is, I'm pretty sure this might scale with the tower it dropped itself. Like, if I go for a 50k tower, we'll get max military. Because it looks like these planes aren't doing a whole lot right now, right? Seems pretty weak. So, let me go for a magic next, just to show ya. Yeah, we get the grape thing. The grape attack. I'm not sure what support gives, but I'm pretty sure I'll give nothing, since it's not like... It doesn't add support effect. Also, uh... Looks like we don't need 50k, because we spawn mini sun afters. Actually, no, no. It's not attacking. I think it'll start attacking if we get a 50k tower. Should I do it now? Or should I wait? Let me just look at the 108k upgrade. Okay, true sun god. That's to be expected. How about we sell the druid, and we'll come back to, back to that later, so we can focus on uh, maybe daybreak. See what this does. Like, thematically speaking, I really like this tower mod. It just seems very realistic and something that could fit within the game itself, so... I think it's time to go for Daybreak, even though we're not really struggling. Actually, we're struggling now, round 92. Okay, that's a great time to build then. So yeah, no need for Tax Zone. Why don't we just go for the True Sun God Explosions now, right? Yep. True Sun God Explosions indeed. You kind of see the circle get, get disrupted when there's balloons uh, in range. That's where they, they explode, obviously. And let's see the difference. Not gonna lie, it kind of feels like it's not as strong as I thought, but clearly it's way stronger seeing that it just... Melt in 92. Again, it probably has to do with the... Uh, oh, I just lost a bunch of lives, but... Yeah, it probably has to do with the insane attack speed of the overdrive. Uh, it turns out we're still leaking, so... Uh, I guess... We'll go for Soul Incarnate. Yeah, let's do it now. So, do we need to activate it this round? Yeah, we do. True Sun God? Activate. Again, I assume it's a vanilla... Uh, TSG, which should... Definitely be strong enough. I think I need to use the Temple again for 96. Yeah. We're struggling, alright. Since we're struggling, I guess I'll go ahead and uh, drop a magic tower down again. And okay, let's let's get the 50k. So is Avatar Wrath 50k? It is. Uh, it is. Okay, can we get some uh, avatars attacking, or what? Do we see any super stream attacks either? Uh, I don't think so. I think the Avatar Wrath is just uh, doing the majority of the damage so far. And here's 99. Uh, is that attack even doing damage to FDAT? It might not be, because, again, it doesn't have a MIB on it. Let me just see, though. I thought the explosions would at least uh, do some DD damage, but... Yeah. Alright, let's see what we should get. Okay, so we'll just do the easy way at that. And how about a MIB? That the attacks actually do damage, and... Uh, that is surprisingly still not enough. Okay, tax zone and MIB. Definitely shouldn't have any problems anymore. So I kind of feel like this 90, 100k upgrade isn't quite worth the price. Because I thought it would be supposed to do a lot more. But yeah, it looks like the sign of still aren't, aren't spawning. Really weird. We definitely have 40k. 50k. Of magic right now. But it ain't working. I'll do a military real quick. Hang on. Actually, we might not need it because it beats round 100 nicely. Cool. But I want to see if the planes do more damage with a higher uh, darling gun over here. So I'll do a Bez. So right now, Bad still is doing a lot of damage. If I buy this... Military planes? Nope. Doesn't seem to increase with uh, cost. That would be really cool though, but... Probably asking too much. Already, again... Really... Uh, sick mod in of itself. So let's just save up for... Uh, the uh, 108k up right now. I bet we can use some of that TSG action. So here we go. Got it. We got True Sun God planes, but... Are they still... Okay, we got four of them instead of two. They seem to be shooting really slow, though. Maybe you only get the explosions of the military planes, because remember, like, they have dark shooting attacks, I'm pretty sure, right? Either way, I've seen enough of uh, military. Let's go for a, a primary attack. Still shooting at Golden Glaives. If I upgrade this to a Plasma Monkey Fan Club, do the uh, Glaives get any stronger? Looking at the Temple Base's damage, uh, I don't really think so. Alright, maybe we can have the Magic Towers start working. How about that? Back to Avatar Wrath. Spawn Mini Sun Avatar is still not working. Okay. Pop count of the base time was going up, but that's probably just because, again, the uh, Grape. Whatever you call that attack. I never know what to call it. Let's just try NG, though. Just to see if support does anything. Probably not. It does give us, uh, hang on. Oh, it gives us true Sun God buffs. You saw the Sun, like, the attack zone? Just got buffed an insane amount. Now, I wonder why it's getting the buff, because right now, the range of the, uh, the, the NG doesn't even reach the attack, but we're getting the buff anyways. Okay, I think if anything, a support plus 
Final Fantasy V is by far the best thing ever. I think it's too good, so, though, so I'll get rid of it, and we'll see if we can take it all the way with uh, just these. So at what point does Tax Zone start struggling? It looks like round 111, so I'm going to have to start either siphoning or using that TSG ability. Now, maybe I even go for Energizer just to make that TSG buff uh, a little bit faster. It is very cool to see the TSG explosions increase as the uh, tempo gets ranged. I'm going to go ahead and use the ability there, and uh, let's give it even more range for the funsies. So you see, with P training, wow, it, it increases a huge amount already. If I do P mentoring, it increases even more, I think. And lastly, let's just do the expertise, because why not? That should give more range, but okay, I guess there's a cap. Maybe it's the yeah, it might be the lifespan of the attack. It doesn't go any further. Because if I uh, I'm gonna die here. Guess we'll siphon this round. But if I yeah go for like a P brew, it still won't go any further. Because that's a lifespan limit problem. And I don't know what gives lifespan limit. But okay, siphon's good for 116. And now to see if a super buff attack zone on a tunnel base can uh take down a bad. With all those uh attacks being used, uh, certainly looks good. I think we need to use Temple over here, though. No, we're good. I'll make sure to hover it, just in case, though. I think it gets far, but nah. I think we got this. Nice. Back zone. Tunnel base OP. Not quite as OP as the support plus bond bot combo, but yeah. That's gonna do it for this tower showcase. Really awesome mod. Thank you, Doom Bubbles, again, for creating it. And maybe we'll turn again for a part two of it. Who knows? If you have any ideas of what I could possibly do with this uh, mod, then let me know. But otherwise, that'll do it for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.